see what that does. Recording. All right. Welcome, everybody. My name's Sally Diamond. I'm a, a SEA Diamond executive, which just means I've helped a lot of people. And I've been doing this for two and a half years. And uh, tonight we're going to learn a little bit about uh, Genie. Well, I'm going to show you Genie according to me and how I use it, uh, which is not super technical and super expert uh, information. So hopefully you'll all get something out of it. Um, now I'm supposed to read something here. We're, welcome to the Shine Bright team training meeting where we, our growing ASEA family gathers to learn, develop our skills in furthering the mission of ASEA to help hundreds of thousands of people around the world live a healthier life while achieving their personal and financial aspirations and dreams. Many healthcare professionals are calling ASEA's products the greatest scientific breakthrough in health science, anti-aging and athletic performance of our lifetime. They're saying the science discovery is a bit, as big as the discovery of penicillin and DNA. So the intention of this call is to support you uh, and help you in your training efforts to spread the molecules. So um, here we go. So I'm gonna share my screen here. Um, so uh, first of all, to get into Genie, I find the easiest way to get into it is through our back office here. So when you log into the back office here, you've got an icon here that says, take me to the ASEA business coach. So if you have not set up Genie yet, this is where you want to go and you want to click on let's go. When you do that, she's going to start stepping you through um, a process where you enter in your details. Uh, you're going to have to answer a few questions, questions like um, what is your why, what inspired you to, I'm just going to mute someone here. If you're not muted and you can, you can just mute yourselves for me, please. Um, some of the questions might be, um, what brought you to ASEA? Was it a product or an opportunity? And um, what inspires you to, to be doing ASEA? What's your why? Uh, another question is how many hours a week are you going to put into to Jeannie or to building the business? Because then Jeannie's gonna take these answers and she's gonna start to build a profile on you and how she can help you. So Jeannie is like your own very, uh, very own personal assistant. She is gonna tell you exactly what to do, when to do it and how to do it. So, uh, Larry is the father of Jeannie and for those that were at the conference, they, um, they got to meet Larry and hear some of his presentations. So uh, it's very exciting what's coming. This is really just the tip of the iceberg of what we can do. So I hope you can all see the screen there. So when you click on that, it's going to take you into, um, into Jeannie. So here we go. Oh, it's going to ask me for my password, but I've already actually got it open. So... Let's see if you can see this. Can you still see my screen? Yes. Can you nod, Pam? Yep. So you can see Jeannie. So when you first open Jeannie, this is what's going to come up. It's going to say, good evening, you know, whoever it is. I've been keeping track of your business and I've prepared your daily action plan whenever you're ready for it. So um, I can say not yet if I'm just wanting to go in and look at something or I can say show me. So as soon as I say show me, she is going to open up what I need to do. So I have new recruit, it's going to ask me to mentor, I could make a phone call. And as soon as I click on what I might need to do here, she's going to tell me what to do, do it now. And uh, she's going to open up a whole bunch of scripts and information that we can go through. So I can see there with this person here that I've been communicating with. Welcome to the call, everybody. So when we open up here onto this uh, gentleman, it's going to tell me exactly what to do. So it's got a whole bunch of scripts here that I can answer some questions. So I can start the call here and it's going to tell me how to actually make that call. Hi, Peter, it's Sally Diamond. I'm calling back at the time we scheduled a follow-up about the information I said over. Does this work for you? And as I'm saying this, I can be clicking the answers. So Jeannie is formulating um, through this and telling me exactly what to say. Great. Have you had a chance to look at it? Please it. Perfect. So what did you like about it? Wait, you know, so we can wait. Someone's trying to talk to me here. Um, and then, oh, if we can't, Justin's talking there. Okay. So then, then I might say, I completely agree. If it's about the product, um, I completely agree. So you get the idea. You're being given exactly what to say, and then you're answering in whatever he says. So Jeannie is formulating exactly what should happen. So if you're doing a three-way call, you can click on the tab there and it's going to tell you how to do a three-way call. If it's a, a message bank, then, you know, hey, Peter, it's Sally. I hope you're having a great day. We're scheduled to touch base, but it looks like something came up. So there, Jeannie is going to be there every step of the way. 
There's also a bunch of questions here that might come up that you don't know the answers to. Is this MLM because I'm not interested? You know, that might be something they say to you. And here is your answer. Sounds like you've had a past experience that wasn't great. Would you mind if I asked you what your experience was? So you can go through some of these questions and you're going to learn. What is a SEER? There's your answer. It's trillions of stable, perfectly balanced redox molecules suspended in pristine saline solution. So you can see you don't actually need to know all of this information. You just need to know that these questions are here. Is this a pyramid scheme? Perfect, perfect answer here. No, un it's unfortunate that there have been things like that out there that have really hurt people. I understand why you would want to make sure this isn't one of them. So it's giving you exactly what to say. Then when you might be asking to collect a decision, you've got all of the answers here. And then when it comes to enrol the associate, it's also telling you exactly how to enrol with a step-by-step, -step, you know, step through that tells you, we need to tell Larry to change these, Justin, um, exactly, you know, what needs to happen through this enrolment. So you've got all of the answers you need right here in Genie. So you don't need to be calling your upline if you're using Genie effectively because you can find it all inside here. So when you go on and you click on um, the top up here, uh, you'll go back to Jeannie and she's gonna go back to your list. How can I help you? So she can show you your action plan or she can tell you what your next priority is. So let's just go uh, into a basic setting here. So let's just cancel out of that. We'll go into our contact list. So down the side here, you have a toolbar and in the toolbar, you have lots of really, really great information. So when you import your contacts, someone's getting feedback here. I'll just mute, mute you, Stuart. Um, when you've got your contacts, Jeannie will ask you to import your contacts and they will all go into your pool. So they'll sit in your pool and then you will drag only a few contacts into your list. So this is what we call our working list. And in this list, this is where we're collating our active people that we're, we're dealing with. So let's pick on um, a friend here, Kerry Ford. So I, I decided I needed to send her some ASEA. She's been through a really hard time. And um, so I just thought I needed to send her some information as well. So let me just move this task. So to add a contact, I would simply go up into new here and I would type in her details. So I would click on the new button, add in all of her details and I could write some comments. So when I meet a client in my practice and I figure they need some information on a SEER, I can come straight to my desktop here while I'm sitting here checking them out. I can type it in and in the comments, I can write a little bit about them so it helps me remember who they are and then I hit save. When I've done that, it'll come up here. If for some reason you add the wrong details up in the right hand corner here, you have edit and you can edit their details. Now I can click on this person, I go contact and I'm going to email. So as soon as I do that, she's gonna to wanna to interview this person. So if I wanna do an interview, Jeannie's gonna gather information about her so that when she makes a script, she's gonna to talk to her like I know her. So does, does this person like to try new things, meet new people, take a little risk, investing in their future? Not really. Is she health conscious? Yes. Is she an athlete? Not really. She have any health issues? Yes. Is she a medical professional? No. Does she want to make some money? Yes. Does she care about her appearance? Is she a skincare user? So I know all of those things there. Oh, and then why is it not letting me go? It's not letting me go down. Anyway, you get the idea. Jeannie's formulating exactly um, information about her. So then I can go up here and I can now as I'm going to say not right now and it will open up the email screen here. So as soon as it opens the email screen, I'm going to have access to um, the library and I'm going to be able to add some things in that I might want to send to. So I can add my own text in here if I want to. And I know that once you've done the interview, Jeannie will actually formulate a script and an email that comes up here. So I might say, okay, I'd like to send this person um, information on the liquid. I'd like to send her, uh, what else might I send her? The science video, I've already sent her that I think. Let's say we might want to send her uh, a science of a Sierra short video and maybe Silverman's um, thing. Now I don't usually recommend sending too many things because they only really click on one thing. So you can see those links that I clicked are going to formulate here in this link here. So I would write, hey Kerry, here is 
the information as promised. And with that, I can now preview and send. It will send a copy to me if I have that box checked there. I can check the editing is okay, and then I will hit send email. Not, of course, going to do that right now. Now, when that email goes to her, just say she's sitting at her computer right now and she gets the email, she, I am going to receive a text message from Jeannie to tell me that she has just clicked on that link. So I can go, hooray. Um, she's now got the email, she's going to be watching it and reading it, so I know that I really need to be following her up shortly. So I might come back to my computer then and I can go to this side of the bar here and I can click on that and I can see that she opened this email twice. So I can see it got submitted, processed, delivered, she opened it and then I can see what she did with it. So I can see that she viewed this gene study twice, she viewed the science video twice, 100%, and she's opened the, the big presentation, but she hasn't really looked at it. So she's probably going to come back to that one. So I now have some information that I can call her. She doesn't know that I've got this information. And I can say, hey, Carrie, great to you know chat to you. Is it a good time to talk or whatever Jeannie might tell you if you're following a script? And I would say, have you had a chance to look at the info? And she's going to say, well, yeah, I had a chance to watch the video or no, I haven't. So you're going to be able to follow up in timely manner knowing that she's opened it. Now, if someone's opened that email 25 times, which has happened to me, you know that they're looking at it and they're really, really interested. So you really have to get back to them quickly. Now, you can also make notes. So you'll add a note here. Um, you, can, you can have the, it saved that email draft that I just did then. And you've got the engagement and the progress and your interaction. So you can be adding notes. So say I was to bump into her in the supermarket, I could add a note and, and keep track of exactly what is happening with this contact. So if there's two of you that are using the account, then you can see exact, exactly what contact is going on um, with this person. Um, okay, so if we come down to the, um, the team here, you get to see what your team is doing. So this is for a little bit more of the advanced section where you can see what your team is and when you click on the little plus sign, it opens up their team and their builders. And you get to see uh, exactly who they are and what they're doing. So all of these colors and numbers mean something. The A means, if you click on the little icon here, it tells you what that means. So the A means they're active. The Q means they're binary qualified. The ABC means that they are subscribed to Jeannie. Oops. Can you mute yourself, Justin, please? Um, the apple means it's someone that I'm, I am mentoring, and you get the idea. So so, sorry, Sally. It's actually not me. Oh. It is Elizabeth Smith and Sabaz, or S A B A Z. Oh, okay. So if, you, um, if you go on to participants, you'll be able to mute them. Uh, I did put a request before for people to mute themselves because I could see that they hadn't muted themselves. And if you can, it's just a great habit to always be into to mute yourself. Elizabeth has. That's fantastic. And I think Sabaz has now as well. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, so you get the idea there. You can see exactly what's happening there. Um, and then we have a mentoring tab. So I can then choose to be mentoring some people. And when I'm mentoring people, I can assign them some tasks. So that's something new that I'm still learning there. So I can't exactly teach all of that. But the really exciting thing that I do want to point out to you is the training tab here down the side. And this is where um, you'll spend a lot of time in the beginning because all of our trainings for Shine Bright um, and everything that we're going to be doing now is going to be going. Welcome to the training center where you'll find training from all over the ASEA world. So you, you have a little um, video there. So you can look up my assignments. So these are things that maybe my upline might assign to me and that's where they're gonna be. So I can go straight into the training center and I can click on if Nicole and Justin, you know, send me something, then that's where it's gonna sit. In our team training here, this is where we've got all of our Shine Bright team information. So we still have the Shine Bright team website, but now most of the information is coming in here. So our share guide, which is something that we um, talk about, 10 step fast training, you can see it goes for 10 minutes and it's gonna keep track of what you've done in this as well. We've got some social media training, our promotions, our leaders, 
You can listen to some interviews there. I'm building to bronze with myself and Jen and Jeanette. So when you click on it, it tells you how long this training is. So you can start to work through um, some of these trainings. So getting started, perfect place to start. Yeah. Yeah. Getting started and you'll work through exactly what this is. What's a director bonus? What's making, you know, make a list, uh, a new associate checklist. So you've got your welcome booklet. Everything is right here for you to start going through. Uh, amazing molecules and then we've got um, corporate stuff from ASEA and you've got a, um, ABC training so when we talk about our um, mobile app you can also integrate Genie into your mobile app so you'll click on to training and then you'll come down to ASEA business coach training and then go to ABC mobile and it's going to tell you here how to do Genie Mobile. So if you have an Apple phone, this is a one minute video that's gonna tell you exactly how you get the app on your phone. Now, Justin, I have plugged my thing in, but it's not showing. So I don't know if you wanna do this right now. Yeah, certainly, I can screen share for you if you'd like. So the app, sorry, I, yeah, I'm technically challenged. <laughs> that's fine, we all have those challenges sometimes. No one is perfect, but uh, so Justin's going to share his screen here. So if you the, stop your screen share, I'll be allowed to, but because you're the oh, host, I, I can't override you. Oh, can I make you a host? Uh, you can, actually. If you click on the participants and you go to me, uh, you can, you can rec um, give me the host. Uh, it says mute more, make, make co-host. Yeah, make co-host. Hey, there you go. All right, that should no, be. Man, co host Fantastic. Thank you. All right, so what I'm going to do is a very cool trick uh, that I have only done a few times. So look at this. It is uh, iPad or iPhone via Airplay. All right, so what I'm doing is I am... Oh, boom, boom. It is going to show up. Okay. Plug in, install. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. It is going to come in just a moment. I've just realized that I have a little plug in to install. There you go. So there's an installable piece of software, uh, which I had done for uh, in the past for the other account, but I hadn't done on this account. So you might need to do that on your computer, Sally. Maybe that's what's stopping you. Okay. So look at this. So what this is, is this is my phone. My phone is now screen sharing. Okay, so you can see that I, can, I have a genie right down the bottom right hand side, the ABC app on my phone all the time on the, on the home screen. So I just tap my phone, it opens up, bang, it's ready to go. And I'm literally halfway through a conversation and I'm like, hey, you know, like, and I've done the discovery conversation, what's important to them? Oh, I might have something that could help you that if I would, if, if I would you, you know, if I had something that could help you with that, would you, would you take a look at the three to five minute video? I can send it to you straight away. Yep, great. Boom, 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 I click on ABC. Now, once you've done this once and, and you put the remember me, when it logs in, it will log you in automatically. So there's the login page, but because I've already done it and I've done the remember me, it's just gonna initialize and log in straight away. Now, most of the time it will log into, uh, the home screen, right? But I've already chosen that screen to log into. So look, so what I do is I, I um, so back to there, it's like send info. There's like, there's four. Why, why can I go back to there? Go back to the original page. I don't know what's going on there. That was right. Yeah. Okay, it's so logging in again. Hmm. I think it's just think my Wi Fi is pretty slow here, sorry. Okay, so look, I go add new, right? I, I go send info. There's four, four, four choices, one send info. I go add. So I'm going to add Nick, Den. Okay, because you can't keep adding the same contacts. Uh, email. And what I actually do is I send, I give them my, their, my phone. I give them my phone to put their details in my phone. And at the same time, I say to them, hey, you're a Facebooker too, right? I say, okay, well, look, if you give me, um, if you give me your phone, I will search myself on Facebook. So just hit Facebook and I'll find myself on your phone, right? So then I send them, a, I, I'm using their phone to find me on Facebook 
and I send myself a friend request from there while they're filling this in. Met at the shops, right? Little little note. I always put a little note in where I find where I found them, right? Send and save. Then it comes to this screen. There are six generic uh, options. One is about opportunity, the business, obviously. One's appearance, wellness, athlete, medical, health concerns, right? Health concerns is probably the most favorite, my, my most common one that I use. But wellness is pretty big too, right? So I might use wellness. Now, all of these, once you've chosen that, it has a generic three to five minute video that Nicole and I have already proofed and believe that's the most effective short video that they're going to watch on their phone. And this is really key. key. And, and they will be updated now because we've got to see her and all sorts of cool stuff, right? But that, at the moment, that's, that's what's in there. And look, all this stuff is always being updated. It's a constant work in progress, but this is the best way that I prospect. I love it. So one, you're going to have a three to five minute video straight away. More people use, um, oh, it's my phone just went to sleep. More people use the internet on their phones than they do on their computers. And you want to start with a small piece of information and then, then grow from there. So again, like what Sally said, when you're contacting people through the desktop, don't choose too much, okay? But maybe this particular person said, I'm really interested in wellness and I know it's gonna be the short version of the ASEA science, science of ASEA, the four and a half minute one, heaps of doctors talking about lots of cool stuff, but maybe they are also full on athletes, right? And also I'll go, okay, well, I'll put in the ASEA outperform yourself two minute athlete video, but I'm only gonna use like the generic one and one more, you know, not too many. Then I go choose wellness page plus one, so this will come up with a generic text. Look at that. Nick, here's the info I promised to send you. I'll call you soon. Now, I've got the option to either turn the text off, right, or I've got the option to turn the email off. Now, I always do both, right? I always want to text them. In that initial stage, if, if you get your phone back and their mobile number's not in there, what I say to them is, hey, look, I find everyone's really busy and I don't have a lot of time either. I'm not going to waste your time. I just find texting's the best way to keep in touch. Do you mind if I get your number? So that way I can get some, you know, we can text you some stuff. And if you need to call me or I need to call you, I can just do a quick call, right? I'm not going to harass you. And most people are like, yeah, sure, fine. But you just address the elephant in the room and you express your concern. Okay. So again, this is the bottom one. Now you can get in there and you can um, muck around with it if you need to. Actually, actually, it's the next page. So I just pressed the next page and this is where I can get in here. And I can type some more. I can, you know, say, you know, it was great to meet you. Actually, I think it was the last page. You can edit what that email says, but I, I try really hard not to. We are going to update these templates as well. We're going to shift a few, a few things about, but you see the ASEA breakthrough is there at the top. And then the other one was the one right in the bottom, the other link. And then once I hit send, it goes straight to my text screen, right? So this is a pre-generated text. And it's got the links in there as well. And I go text. Now that's already showed up in that's in Nicole's inbox and texted to her phone. Pretty cool, hey? Anyone feel like they can do that? Yay! Yay. Nikki Thanks, just got it. It's amazing. So I find that super useful if I'm out and about, you know, on the run, or even if I'm in my treatment room and they're ready to go, they can be lying on my table, putting in the information, click, 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 and it's done before I even leave. So the yeah. really cool thing, you can stop sharing that now, Justin. Yeah, that's the screen that shows up when you first log in. So you just click send info and then it comes. So say if I just want to send someone else, one of my other contacts, some info, I can go into them and send it from there as well. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. Wow, look at all this. Welcome. These. Cool. Uh, okay, now I it's think great. Can you still see my screen? No, now you can. Uh, so that's how you get the app on your phone. So you can go in there and watch that one minute video to uh, figure that out. So the really cool thing about this is if someone calls us and says, how do I, we can simply click on their training, you know, one or two minute video and we can assign it to you so that it will appear in your back office. So instead of us repeating everything a hundred times, if everyone can spend time going through the genie here and the training, you'll all become super informed and as smart as us. <laughs> so uh, you also have access to the library here. And in the library, this is where all the information is. So um, Larry will upload everything we need and want to go in here. And there's little tours. So every time you click on uh, a tab here, it's going to give you a tour around, show you around, tell you exactly what's here. So, you know, if you need to change someone's sponsorship form, Everything you need is going to be right here. Three times in five minutes. 
Uh, Anne Louise Gittleman, fantastic presentation she did at the 2016 convention. So I tell everyone now, if you want to learn anything, just hang out in this library and watch and read and listen to all of this stuff so that when someone asks you something, you know it exists and it's going to be in Genie. If you know that they're in a, into athletics, you've got a little tab here and it's going to segregate all the athlete stuff for you. Uh, same with the opportunity. If they're interested in opportunity, you can click these tabs. Once you start clicking on a few things, you have a recents tab and that makes it really easy for you to start selecting and adding things. You also have, oh, that's not populated very well, uh, a, a country. So if you're sending information to, um, can you make a note of that, Justin, to tell Larry? Uh, you've got countries here. Oh, there's the Denmark. So if it's Denmark, it's going to come up in their language. So if you're trying to send information to someone in another country. Uh, Deductor is our tax tool. So that helps us keep track of our expenses uh, when we're running a small business. And did you know, as an ASEA associate, you are able to claim a portion of your uh, home office, your travel, your food, your accommodation. So whenever you're doing business in ASEA, it does become a write-off and here is where you can track it. This is included in the um, pro version. So uh, the difference between the free version, so everyone gets an ASEA um, ABC Genie account and you're allowed to keep 10 people on your contacts list uh, and then you've got to keep moving. Actually, sorry, Sally, can I just correct that? I know it was a bit confusing the other day when Larry was telling us. What You can actually import all your contacts into Genie, but the free account only allows you to use the full prospecting scripts and like where Genie teaches you how to do it, that's only 10 people. Oh, okay. The other contacts you can still contact, you just don't, you can't use the Genie process, which is kind of his proprietary way to help you do the business easier. Okay. Yep. So yeah, I, um, I highly recommend all of you starting with uh, a free Genie and, you know, I use it every day. I love it. It's kind of become my little lifesaver and my, uh, you know, one step process now where everything is here. There was a time, you know, back in the day when we first started where, you know, I was looking for this video and looking for that video and looking for that form and I would spend time Googling it to find the link to add to an email. And it was a process that took time. As you all know, I don't have a lot of time. So for me to be able to just sit here and go click, 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 send and be able to have that kept track of so that when I do sit down, I can look and go, oh, that's right. I had information that went to Susie. Where's she at? You know, I can see how she looked at it and I can send her a quick text message and say, how did you go with that info? Or like today, I've had 10 messenger, you know, messages going at once. So I'm not real good on the phone because that takes too much time. Uh, I've got messages and text messages and emails going out all the time and I'm chatting to several people at once. So um, this just keeps you kind of on track with where you are and what you're doing. In our settings, what have we got in our settings? In our settings is where we've got all of our information, you know, and our um, questions. That's also if you in your settings section, if you go down to campaigns, oh, yep. this is probably really relevant because campaigns uh, only came in a few months ago or probably a little while ago now, but um, these campaigns used to run more manually. We used to have to download the database and send it over to other people and they would put it through. This is automatic now and I really encourage anyone that never got the email series to begin with, have a look at this. So you can go to welcome is to a CS, subscribe to me to a campaign and you'll get one email for five days. Now, if you go up to the drop down menu, the welcome to a CEO one and then go to the share campaign, that's the business one. So that's got all the business tools, share guide, launch and build guide, all that sort of stuff, success tracker. That send me the campaign content now. That's like, it's not going to be staged in like one a day for five days. It's like bang, send them all straight away. So it's not a bad thing to have that, right? And I would keep those emails in a folder store them in a folder somewhere on your email system because your all your new associates are going to get that until we revise them and we are going to revise them and, and improve them even more very soon but you want to get an idea of what they're getting you want to know the information what they're getting right they're getting the cellular health consult they're getting the video of me doing the renew ritual they're doing you know they're getting that stuff they're getting the welcome booklet and you want to ask them the questions like hey so you know, has your product turned up? Have you got the emails? Have you done your cellular health consult before you start on the product? Have you watched the video to, to know how to take a proper photo in the bathroom with the right light? You know, and all of that stuff is, is information stimulus for you to have a real conversation with them to help them get the best out of their product experience. And that's what creates amazing retention and residual income in the years to come when you service your people really, really well. Cool. So there they are there. And it has... Uh your upline's phone number attached to it. 
you know, applying bronze and above. I think that is, is that right? So on enrollment, this is what they get. They get the welcome booklet. They get the um, ways to use Redox booklet. It's pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about them not, you know, getting a welcome. They're getting a whole list of what to do. Thank you, Justin. Now you can also click on here, ASEA, and it'll take you back to your virtual office. So it's linked through, you know, and that's where you can log in then to your, um, what do you call it, back office. You've got science, you've got athletes, you've got linked to the Advancing Life Foundation, I am ASEA. I don't know if any of you have seen the I am ASEA page, but that's a pretty cool website where you list all your leaders and, you know, things that are going on here, you know, amongst ASEA. So from Genie, you can absolutely access everything. So spend some time really getting to know this website and it'll make your whole life of building a business really, really simple. What else, Justin? Have I missed anything? No, you're amazing, Sally. Isn't she fantastic, everyone? She is a powerhouse and, uh, and I know just how she is. She is kicking massive goals and she is like really, really advancing her own business and helping a lot of people. It's just amazing what Sally does. Uh, just one last thing there. Uh, Sharon Strongwoman asked a question that her... Genie on a phone is stuck in initializing, right? Mine was doing that last week as well. Genie updates every week. It's rare, but sometimes when they do an update, the phone app will, will get stuck in initializing. Just click log out and re-log back in and it stops that. If you have any challenges with Genie or the app, make sure you like send the send love feedback or bug uh, to Rustin or Genie or, or Larry. It's actually on the desktop. If it's on your app, let us know um, and we'll send it on through because these guys are very, very professional and they get stuff fixed super, super fast. Great work, uh, Sally. That was absolutely amazing. Um, I think maybe we just want to uh, tell them about 8 o'clock p.m. Or, uh, Queensland time, 9 p.m. Uh, Victoria's New South Wales time call. Sally will be doing uh, a chat with a partial paraplegic who's had phenomenal improvements. And we know the last genetic study, there were gene pathways there that uh, showed spinal cord repair, uh, increased genetic expression, and this is a call not to be missed. If you know anyone with severe trauma, with paraplegic, quadriplegic, spinal, even surgery nerve damage, because we've seen that improve greatly as well, you know, Bell's palsy, para, um, any kind of palsy, stroke, brain, brain injury, they should be on this call, right? There's gonna be a good call, and the special for a seer, the three case plus one free case, has been extended until midnight tonight because the IT department has a public holiday and they didn't switch it off. So this is an amazing promo. And uh, all right, they had a public holiday issue. Anyway, so um, look, it's super exciting, but uh, fantastic work, Sally, you're amazing. Thank you very much. Awesome, thank you everyone. We'll see you back here at eight o'clock.